Today, Democrats are demanding Wellstar create a plan to accommodate patients who will no longer have access to Atlanta Medical Center. 11 Alive's Cares Belger is breaking down the responses to that decision. Something that came up repeatedly was the impact of this decision on patients who have to seek alternatives for their emergency care. Democratic gubernatorial candidate Stacey Abrams, joined by other elected officials and doctors, condemned the decision to close Atlanta Medical Center. This comes just two days after Wellstar announced the facility would close in November. And if this hospital closes, when this hospital closes, the people of Georgia are going to once again lose opportunity for health care, opportunity for jobs, an opportunity for survival. The closure means an increased patient load for other facilities like Grady, the only other level one trauma center. Dr. Melody Thompson, whose office is just a few blocks from AMC, explained the impact of closing would be detrimental to the community. And if you or your mother has a stroke and that ambulance is turned away from Piedmont and Emory and Grady while the minutes tick away, where will you go? More reaction today coming from other Georgia lawmakers. A letter from Senator Raphael Warnock said in part, we implore you to rethink this decision and reverse course. At a minimum, you must delay this decision until there is a plan in place in consultation with the city of Atlanta and neighboring hospitals to absorb these patients. It's a cry that was echoed by other Democratic officials in the Georgia House of Representatives and the mayor of Atlanta, all stating the ramifications of the closure would be felt throughout the metro.